Hey, what's up guys? Back with another video. Glad to be with you guys. I'm here with my nightcap, drinking my tea, going through some samples, and um, I wanted to respond to a couple of DMs. Some new producers were asking me, what do I think is the best setup? The Groovebox has gained a lot of popularity in the last few years, so to speak. They've come out with a lot of great Grooveboxes. Um, I talk about them on my channel. There's thousands of channels out there to talk about them in. I mean, you just have to take your hats off to these group boxes. They really have um, come up the ranks and they're really doing a lot of things that they weren't able to do 10, 15 years ago. You know, I don't know how old some of you producers are. I ain't trying to date myself, but let's just say I've used floppy disks and scuzzies to all my old school producers out there know what I'm talking about the scuzzy drives remember those so to my old school producers we know how far these groove boxes have come but I don't want to get into that too much I just want to kind of address the question that was asked in this video you'll hear me refer to door heads as door hearts which is a takeoff of die hearts I call them door hearts these are the people who talk down the groove boxes and look down on them they just Feel like they're just like this prehistoric way to make beats or um, make music when it's just not true. But I get it. You, you like what you like. We like what we like. Everybody has their own uh, opinion and their own view and what works for them. But I don't think anything should be looked down upon because as long as you're making something, that's all that really counts. But you'll hear me refer to them as door hearts. There's really only one answer to that question. Aside from your budget, the best setup out there is a hybrid setup. That's gonna be a door and a group box. That is the best setup. Now, if you happen to have one or the other, you're still gonna be making some crazy dope stuff. So it really doesn't matter. But if you really want the best of both worlds and you really want to finish records and get everything in your head out, the best setup is a hybrid setup. That's getting a door and a groove box. There's no way around it. Now, of course, you're going to have your door hearts who don't have a groove box and they're going to pump out some really dope stuff. Um, there's no question about it. And you're going to have your groove box heads. It's going to pop out some really good stuff too, but there's always going to be a limitation. And you can tell in the devices or whatever you're using. So let's look at the door, right? What do door developers try to do? All they do is try to emulate the grooves from groove boxes. So you'll have the option to give it an NPC groove. 60% or 70% or an option to do an SB1200 groove or any of the old groove boxes they all have them in there some option to add a groove or give it that that swing and those that snare slap they're at they're giving you the option to add that groove box swing and what do groove box developers do they just want to give you more buttons and more knobs and more options to be able to do things faster to catch up with the door so each thing is trying to emulate the other and catch up to the other so that tells you right there the best setup is a hybrid setup now as far as what to get that's a whole another video or at least say what i think i'm not telling you guys what to get of course but if you just want to hear what i think for those of you that just want to know what the best setup is, that's my opinion. I think the hybrid setup, especially coming from the 90s where I, I had all outboard gear. I was using JV 1080s and JV 2080s. I had racks with 10 sound modules in them and stuff like that, where now you just have a computer and that's it. Everything is in the computer. It just is what it is. I mean, as in one of my earlier videos, I said, we'll never catch up. We won't. And you're always going to be changing things. And that's why I say you just got to get in your zone and just make. That's all. Just just bang.
It doesn't matter what it is, but it's all pretty reasonably priced. I mean, look at the EP. You could get a groove box for 200 bucks, 300 bucks, and you can get a door for 100 bucks. I mean, look at Koala. I mean, it's not a full fledged door, but everything is attainable. Everything is available to everybody today, which is a gift and a curse because everybody's a producer, everybody's a a filmmaker, everybody's a a drummer, everybody's a DJ, everybody's everything. And I don't know, I don't even know how to process that. I don't know if it's if that's good or bad, but everyone can do everything today, which means there's really no excuse to not have what you need. Um, But the downside is it's just so much noise that you have to cut through now because clearly everybody is not all of these things but since they have access to these things they think they can call themselves that or they think that's what they are so you know who am i to bust anybody's bubble or who are any of us to say what somebody is but it is what it is and this is where we at it's all fair game as far as i'm concerned do what you do the proof is in the pudding don't even get caught up in the the noise man do what you do and what everybody else is thinking and what everybody else is doing it's all about you and what you're doing and what works for you but definitely get yourself a door definitely get yourself a groove box and start grooving that's what you got to do and i just gave you a great setup right there get yourself koala in the ep 133 ko2 and just go crazy with those two things right there there's no excuses and that's going to cost you under $350. I mean, that's minus the cables and the cords and anything else that you may need. You know, you may need some kind of uh, sample subscription where you can go online and look for samples, which is crazy to me because I I come from the days of vinyl. We had to go through vinyl to actually find a sample or find a snare or find a kick. It would actually take you 15 minutes to a half an hour to get that perfect kick to to sound to, to truncate that perfect kick to make it sound the way we wanted it to sound today you can do it in 30 seconds please get yourself a koala app and ep133 ko2 and get to work until then i'll see you guys in the next video take care